Welcome to the Seven, a key pledge from the SNP, free devices for every child as the campaign focuses on education recovery, but the other parties say it's too late. Good evening and welcome to The Seven. A free laptop or device for every child was the key election pledge from the SNP as the campaign focused on education and recovery from the pandemic. The other parties said more should have been done already as they set out their policies. Meanwhile, another SNP MP has defected to the Alaba party. Here's our political correspondent, Andrew Kerr. The family of a Scottish woman who died in mysterious circumstances in Crete more than 12 years ago see the Greek authorities are to reinvestigate the case. Jean Hanlon's body was found in the sea several days after she disappeared in 2009. An inquiry ruled her death was an accident, but her family say there are still unanswered questions. Andrew Anderson reports. Justice. There's been widespread international condemnation of Myanmar after the military there shot and killed more than 100 of its own civilians. Defence chiefs from 12 countries, including the US, Britain and Japan, have issued a joint statement saying armed forces should protect rather than harm the people they serve. Yesterday was one of the deadliest since the military coup there eight weeks ago. Our correspondent Laura Bicker has been monitoring the situation from Thailand and sent this report. A look now at some of today's other stories and the UK is expected to receive the first shipment of the US made Moderna vaccine next month. The culture Now salvage teams trying to free the massive cargo ship still blocking the Suez Canal are hoping this evening's high tide as well as more tugs and dredging will dislodge it. With hundreds of vessels stuck either side of the ship, Egypt's president says they should be prepared to lift containers off to lighten the load. Our correspondent Helena Wilkinson reports. News. A look at today's sport now and Scotland are gearing up to play Israel again but this time for the World Cup 2022 qualifiers in Tel Aviv. Coach Steve Clark says there's everything to play for with both teams evenly matched. One qualifier that has already been played was... In rugby's Pro 14, Dragons failed in their bid for a possible Champions Cup place despite beating Edinburgh 24-17 in their final game of the season. Two largely dry and mild in the south. Fiona Stalker and David Wallace Lockhart are here at 11 o'clock the seven days, but from all of us on the seven team, have a great Sunday evening. Bye bye.